What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Crossroads Read Build. Guys, it has been a minute since I have had a video out. I have just been swamped with work and uh, other things going on in life. It has just been a really busy time for me this year, uh, which is a good thing, right? It's uh, better than being bored and having nothing at all to do, but it has meant that my car projects have had to take a little bit of a back burner. And uh, so in this video, well, I'm gonna give you a little bit of an update here to start, and then I'm gonna introduce you to something I'm getting ready to work on right now. So first of all, as you can see, I am here at the Crossroads Rebuild Garage or shop or whatever you wanna call it. I am not at my house where I've been doing most of my work lately. And you can see over my shoulder, uh, the Mercedes build that I've had going on for a while now. Uh, this has been a slow project uh, that I've been working on off and on. It kinda got sidetracked when I started working on the Interceptor, and then I've just been working on it off and on here and there. There. but I do have someone who's buying this from me so I'm working on getting it ready uh, if you want to see a video on that uh, what I'm working on let me know in the comments below and if you haven't watched any of the Mercedes videos I'll leave a, a little uh, button up here that you can click on and uh, you can go watch those videos I encourage you to do that but uh, I will do at least a wrap-up video on this, but that's the Mercedes sitting here behind me. And then, you know, you've seen a few videos on uh, the 2011 335 IS, the BMW 335, the BMW 335 IS convertible that I'm building for Erica. Uh, that car is still in progress and I'll have a video coming soon on that. It's been slow going and I'll explain all of that in an upcoming video. Uh, but that car is still over at Jack's. It's uh, getting ready to, to leave Jack's shop uh, so that I can do some more work on it. Uh, but the 335 IS is in progress and I'm excited to get some more work done on it soon and hopefully get that car on the road soon as well. So in addition to the BMW and the 335 IS for Erica, I have a couple of other projects in the works, or at least getting ready to be in the works, uh, starting very, very soon. One of them I'm going to wait to tell you about is something a little bit different for uh, this channel, uh, something a little bit uh, unique from what I've done. Um, if you watch the YouTube channel, watch JR Go. It's kind of along the lines of something he might do. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll have that come in here pretty soon. Uh, but today I am here to show you something new, a new rebuild. And I'll explain that here in just a moment. But I am here at the old shop getting ready to load it up on the trailer and take it home so I can work on it there. Because I don't know if you can see uh, over my shoulder here, but it is ugly out. It is cold. I'm having to wear my coat and hoodie. Uh, it is so cold out here. It's miserable. So I'm going to take it home where I can uh, work on it there. Since I have the Mercedes in the shop here, I can't shut the door and get some heat going. So I'm going to go ahead and get it loaded up now and then show it to you. That's right, I bought another BMW. And this one has a manual. Alrighty, well, it's loaded up. You can see it there behind me. And I am headed back, gotta make a stop on the way, but then I'll be headed to the house and uh, I'll show you what we got. Alrighty guys, well, just got back from Jack's. Got to check in on the silver BMW, the 335 IS. Looking good, we're making some serious progress. Looking forward to bringing you an update on that one. And now we have uh, the black one, the well, I haven't actually shown you what it is yet, have I? We'll get into that in a minute. But we've got it here back at the house. I'm gonna go ahead and get it unloaded. It's got an opportunity to show it to Jack uh, so that he can see uh, exactly what we need to do. Uh, again, I'll talk to you about that here in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and get this thing unloaded so we can get back inside where it's warm. Well, we got the car unloaded and it, uh, it is here at the house, but as you can see, it has gotten dark and a little bit late and very cold. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably tinker around in the garage tonight with a few of the replacement parts. Uh, but aside from that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video for tonight and we'll catch you in the morning and I'll give you a tour of this new car. 
and we're back okay as you can see it's the next day and i've got the 328 behind me here and uh, i want to go ahead and give you a tour of what we've got and explain what the purpose of this car is and uh, and show you what we need to do to it so let me go ahead and turn this camera around and show it to you now all right well this is a 2011 328 x drive so this is the all-wheel drive version and um, the reason i bought this car is well because of the x drive you know we bought that car for erica the 335 is which is going to be an awesome fair weather car but uh, i sold her other car uh, to a fellow youtuber and it was all wheel drive and uh, so we don't actually have a good uh, winter car for her to drive she loves the three series platform uh, and so i thought it'd be good to find her another all wheel drive version and so i started shopping for one well, then I came across this car, which, you know, it's a 328, so you wouldn't think it's all that special, but it actually is a little bit special, and that's because of that. When I found an all-wheel drive 3 Series that also had the six-speed manual, I knew that one was the one that I wanted if I could get it at a decent price, and, well, it's here behind me, so you know I did get it at a decent price, but the uh, all-wheel drive and manual transmission combination is actually kind of rare. It's not it's not all that common to find both of those options in the same car. Now, Eric and I are maybe a little bit unusual because uh, there's not that many people, I guess, nowadays that still like manual transmissions, but we do, and uh, so a manual transmission is right up our alley and BMW makes fantastic manual transmissions. Anyway, continuing the tour, as you can see here on the inside, we have no airbags blown, which is fantastic news. I'll show you the actual damage here in just a little bit, but no airbags. Uh, being that it's a 328, it's a fairly plain interior, nothing fancy, uh, manual everything. Uh, really, the only uh, extra or option it has is the sunroof. Um, so pretty plain, pretty simple, uh, but I do have some plans to do some upgrades. We'll talk more about that in another video. Anyway, continuing the tour on the outside, um, the driver's side here was not damaged in the accident, but there are a couple things to talk about here. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the wheels. Uh, well, they've been plasti dip. They are factory wheels, uh, but they are not all that attractive. Um, you know, I could take the plasti dip off, and I probably will, because it's in really bad shape. But honestly, these wheels on a black car, I'm not a big fan of. If this car was a different color, maybe I'd be fine with them. Uh, but we'll probably plan to upgrade those and put these up for sale. Uh, but in any case, the guy plasti dipped them, so we'll take care of that problem. And then, I cannot tell you why, but somebody did a partial disassembly on this car. Now, you can see this door does not line up quite right. And no, it hasn't been wrecked over here. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, but these trim pieces have all been removed and damaged, unfortunately. And then the trim that goes around the uh, roof line here uh, is also loose and out of place. So I have no idea what they were doing. And then all of the interior panels, the door panels and stuff, are halfway disconnected. You can see that they didn't even bother rehooking up that door uh, handle. So I have no idea what's going on here. But... We'll get the door realigned, we'll get the broken and bent panels uh, replaced, get everything put back together and making it look good again. Making our way around the front, uh, it's not in mint condition, but it's not bad off. We'll do a few uh, paint corrections and fixes here and there, uh, but nothing major here in the front. And then coming on over here to the passenger side, well, this is obviously where the major damage happened. The car was either sideswiped or uh, maybe he got up against something. I really don't know. I couldn't have been a direct hit, first of all, because it got dragged, obviously. But uh, if you remember my first BMW 3 Series, uh, it had been hit more or less in the same spot, but actually did damage to the suspension. There's absolutely no suspension damage. But starting there on the front door, coming all the way across the back door into the dog leg section a little bit, Messed up all the beautiful Plasti Dip, and then halfway tore this bumper off. But honestly, that's not bad. Door, easy replacement. That front door, I've already talked to Jack, he can fix that, no big deal. So little scuff on the door handle, a little scuff down low. He can fix all that. He'll do some paint correction on the front part as well, get all that looking good. 
I've already got a door uh, already uh, sourced for this car. In fact, I've already torn it down and I've already gotten it over to Jack. In fact, he's probably painting it right now as we speak. I'll show that to you in an upcoming video. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut this little section out here. I've actually got a replacement uh, quarter cut that we're gonna use to replace that damaged section there. And of course, uh, replace, whoop, it's farther away than I realized. Uh, also replaces rear bumper. So as you can see, the damage on this car really isn't that bad. So I bought this car to be a daily driver for us. It'll serve the purpose of uh, being a good winter foul weather, snow and ice type of a car. Uh, and as you can see, the gray weather of winter here in Indiana has already started. It's 30 something degrees, it's cold. Um, haven't really had any snow to speak of yet this season, but I know it's on its way. So we're gonna get this car uh, wrapped up relatively quickly, hopefully, and uh, get it ready for the winter season. Meanwhile, work is continuing on the other cars as well so don't worry about that in the process of getting this car rebuilt we're going to also go ahead and do some upgrades some updates uh, a little bit of a personalization to it you know i just about can't leave any car alone always got to make it a little bit uh, unique and special just for us the kinds of things we like uh, so we'll do some of that to this car as well and that's where we're going to go ahead and end it for this video i hope you're excited about this build i know this might not be the most interesting thing that we've ever rebuilt here on the channel especially compared to the 335 is that we're still working on uh, that is a nice warm weather car um, and we're not going to stop working on it but i'm going to work on it here through the winter and get that car ready so that as soon as the weather warms up and spring is here uh, that car will be ready to go and Erica can enjoy it in the nice beautiful spring and summer weather that'll follow. So I'll have more videos coming on that car very very soon. As I said at the beginning of this video I'm also continuing to work on the Mercedes getting it ready for sale. Uh, let me know if you want to see uh, any videos on that. I will do at least a wrap up on it and then I've got uh, you can see the truck here behind me right there. Uh, I have videos coming on that. I've got a, a video just about done already on that one uh, which will be coming out soon. Uh, I thought I was going to do that as my next video but I think I'm going to release this one first and then of course more videos coming on the 335 IS so over the next few weeks and months you're going to see uh, a variety of different projects all happening simultaneously uh, and I hope you enjoy uh, the eclectic content anyway guys with all that being said it's cold out here so I'm going to go inside and get warmed up and then I'm going to come out here and get to work on this car uh, and start filming that so you can see that in the next video about this car uh, but for now, that'll be it on this video. If you're not already subscribed, why don't you go ahead and do that now. Click the bell to be notified each time I upload a new episode. And then I want you also go ahead and follow me on social media where I periodically post uh, videos, photos, and other types of updates, uh, keeping you posted on what I've got going on. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for another episode. Thank you for your patience while I've been busy with work and life. And uh, well, I hope you're looking forward to the next video because it'll be coming very soon. So we'll see you in an upcoming episode. Oh,